7.5, when we were using proportional relationships, so we're just going to kind of go through a quick series of applications, word problems. Okay. 7.5, using proportional relationships. We are on page 502. An indirect measurement is any method that uses formulas, similar figures, and or proportions to measure an object. The following example shows one indirect measurement technique. Measurement technique okay? So example number one, we have a gigantic pineapple here. And they want to find out the height of the, oh, the statue of a pineapple in Nambour, Australia. She measured the pineapple shadow and her own shadow. The student's height is five foot, um, five foot four inches. What is the height of the pineapple? Okay, so I have a pineapple. And it has a shadow. Oops. I guess the shadow should start from here. Shadow like this. Okay. And we have eight feet nine inches. The shadow is eight feet nine inches. And I have a guy, gal, somebody standing, and we have a shadow here, right? And that shadow was two feet. And she was five foot four inches, right? So the proportionality is this, right? This height to the shadow is same to this height to the shadow, right? Okay. So we're going to have five foot four inches over two feet is equal to, I don't know what height of the pineapple, eight feet, nine inches, right? Okay. So what's my approach here? What's the first thing I need to do? Okay, let's go ahead and make it in the same units, right? So I'm gonna go from feet to inches, you said? Okay, so. I'll do the hard one for you, 24 inches. What's this one here? <laughs> 64, right? Five times 12 is 60 plus four. This guy is eight times 12, which is 96 plus nine. 96 plus nine is 105. Right? We'll just cross multiply. I get 24x is equal to 64 times 105. X is equal to 64, 105, 24, divide by 8, divide by 8, divide by 3. So I'm going to get what? 240 plus 4280. 80 inches, 280 inches. Now I can change this back into feet, or I don't know, does it say? No, it says, what's the height of the pineapple? So this is a perfectly acceptable answer 280 inches. Okay. It doesn't ask me how many feet it is, it asks me what's the height. The height. Step number two, the scale of this map is downtown Dallas. Oh, the scale of this map of downtown Dallas is 1.5 centimeters is 300 meters. Find the actual distance between the Union Station and the Dallas Public Library. The Union Station to Dallas Public Library. Okay. You do not have a measuring equipment there, measuring tool, but if you measured it, it's gonna be six centimeters, okay? So, since I know that 1.5 centimeters, is that correct, 1.5? 
is 300 meters, right? So I know that 1.5 centimeters is 300 meters, right? I want to know what how this was six centimeters. So how many meters is that going to be? Correct. Just out of curiosity, anybody know the relationship between a centimeter and a meter? Blurt it out if you know it. How many centimeters, how many meters in one centimeter? Or how many centimeters in a meter? 100. 100 what? Which one's larger? Meters are larger. Meters are larger. So one meter is equal to 100 centimeter. Okay. I don't really have to make the conversion because this is centimeter over meter, this is centimeter over meter, right? I don't have to make the conversion. Okay. But if I did, I would multiply this by 100 to make it in centimeters. I would multiply this guy by 100, right? And then they were all in centimeters and centimeters cancel out. So this kind of proves to you why I would not have had to do that because now I just multiply 100 on both sides and the hundreds go away and the same ratio stays the same. Correct? Does that make sense? So it kind of shows you that I didn't have to make it the conversion. Okay, so actually this conversion factor was not necessary for you guys, but there will come a time where it becomes necessary. Just kind of letting you know. Okay, so let's go ahead and not do this since this makes it more complicated. And we're just go ahead and cross multiply. So I get 1.5x is equal to 6 times 300. Divide both sides by 1.5. There are four of these in six. 1,200 meters, right? 1,200 meters. How many kilometers is 1,200 meters? Anybody know? No? One kilometer, right? One kilometer is 1,000 meters. So kilo stands for 1,000, right? Just as though there are a thousand grams in one kilogram. Right? Okay. All right. <clears throat> Side note. Example number three. The Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. is approximately 57 meters long and 36 meters wide. Make a scale drawing on the base using the following scale. So, I am going to do what? 57 and 36. Okay, this is the actual Lincoln Memorial. I'm going to make a scale drawing here where. What was I supposed to do? One centimeter is 15 meters, one centimeter is equal to 15 meters, right? So let's go ahead and find out this guy here first, right? So one centimeter is equal to 15 meters, and I'm going to represent 36 meters by I don't know how many centimeters. Okay. Again, centimeters and meters, I don't have to worry about it. Just correctly cross multiply. I'm going to get 3615x. Divide by three. Divide by three. So it's going to be 2.4. 2.4 centimeters. For this guy, instead of 36, I'm just going to put what? 57 here? Okay. Cross multiply. 
cross multiply, I get 57 is equal to 15, right? Divide by 15, again, divide by three, divide by three, 19, 3.8. Okay, all right. Point eight by two point four. Flip the page. Top of page five hundred four. There is a similar triangle thingy there. It says that the similarity ratios, okay, are one to two. Can you see that in those triangles? The two triangles, each corresponding length are two times the original one, right? So. It only makes sense that the perimeter would also be two times because the perimeter is, is nothing more than just adding up all the legs, right? Adding up all the sides, I'm sorry, the sides, right? <clears throat> so the perimeter is also going to be one to two or one, one a half, right? Look at the error ratio. Error ratio is one. Which makes sense, right? Because an area is what? Basically, length times height, or what is area represented in? What are some of the units that you know of here? Feet squared, meter squared, centimeter squared, right? It is a length times a length. If the length is one half, right, you're going to have to multiply that by two, right? Which is some length times another length. So therefore, it is one half squared, whatever the ratio is, squared, correct? Okay, and that's where that one quarter comes from. Okay, if you go to the theorem 7.5-1, it says if the similarity ratio of the two similar figures is A over B, then the ratio of the perimeters is the same A over B. The ratio of the area is A over B squared. Okay. Okay. Example number four says, given that RST and UVW are similar, find the perimeter and area of A. Okay, so what is the ratio from RST to UVW? Where do we find that? What gives that to us? Anybody? Maybe I can use 16 over 20. That's the only thing that gives me the ratio, correct? It's 16 over 20, which is 4 over 5, right? Okay. Which means that the perimeter is going to have the same ratio. And since the perimeter was 36, 36 times 4 over 5 would be the perimeter. So wait a minute, where are we going? We're going from there to there, so it's actually the other way around, right? So, wait a minute. 16, larger 20. And I have 36 here, right? And I want to find what the perimeter here is, right? So the way you would go is that 36 to P, equal to 16 over 20, right? From here to here is the same as here to here, right? So I'm gonna go what? I have 16P, 36 times 20, divide by 16, divide by four, Divide by four, 45. So the perimeter here is going to be 45, right? 
So the area was what? Area was 48. The area here is 48. Okay. So again, this, so this to this, 48 to the new area that I'm trying to find, it's going to be this to this, but it's going to be squared, right? Correct. Because it's the area. So we'll square it. So we're going to get 1625 cross multiply 16a is equal to 4825 divide by 16. Three seven twenty. Is that correct? Yes. Here. Yeah. So it's sixteen over twenty, which is four over five. Yeah. Right. That's why I got the four over five. Sixteen over twenty. Right here, four over five. So that's why I got the square. I square. Yeah. So. Oh, over here? Yeah. No, no, because I'm just squaring this. Oh. All right, 16 over 5 squared is 25. Okay. Okay, so this is the one you're looking for. Then you square and cross multiply and figure it out. Okay. Good question. Any other questions? No? Right, we're done with this one. Chop that one up.